In this section, I'm going to go over some of the uh, way to look at ways to look at uh, reports and graphs and use them in your analysis of the model. Uh, here we have our model. Uh, let's just run it again quickly. Um, now we want to bring up some reports to start looking at what's happening here. Let's go over some of the ways we can both look at the reports and then export them to other types of documents. I've got the uh, tank selected here. Let's generate a um, a graph of the tank, and we're interested, let's say, in the uh, the level of water in there, the uh, the elevation head inside of the tank. Over the scenario, uh, we can take a look at that. We can we can bring up more than one graph at a time, so we could minimize that down, and then go ahead and. Uh, generate a another graph let's say for each of the nodes we can we can graph more than more than one node here we're going to graph each of the homes and we're going to look at the pressure at the homes and we've got the pressure here uh, color coded with a key on the side we could take that by uh, we, we could uh, reduce down our main um, model window there and look at the uh, two graphs. Oops. Technical difficulties here. So you can see here I've got uh, two graphs going. One is a time series for the pressure at each of the homes and the other graph here is the tank level and we could get some useful information off of this uh, about what's happening as the tanks filling up and the pressure at the individual homes. We can uh, take some of that information uh, let's, uh, Select the. Um, well, let's actually select the. Well, let's 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 do the the homes, and we can copy that by going to Edit, Copy to Clipboard. And we're going to copy it as a bitmap map file. Okay, and then let's go and put that into a Word document. I've already set up my Word document here in Landscape to receive this, and I'm going to paste that in. And we could use that for reports if we're happy with that graph and the way it looks like we can paste it directly into a report uh, if we're not happy with the way it looks we can um, we can edit it here inside of EPA net I can simply do that by right clicking and it brings up graph options uh, let's see um, my vertical axis, this this blue line up here, is kind of looks like it's going off the top. But if I want to change that, I would switch off my auto scale and change my maximum, which is currently 93.26, to let's just call it 100. And let's do our minimum a little bit lower than it's shown here. Let's actually do it to negative five to make sure we're not getting any uh, negative terms in there and our graph changes here in EPA net and again we could copy and paste this into a word document uh, an alternative to that, to that would be uh, copy and pasting the information from a graph as data and we do that I'm going to do an example with the tank here we go to edit copy to clipboard and let's do it as data and click, select OK bring Microsoft Excel sheet and do a simple edit and paste and we can see here we've got the tank data that was in EPA net the the time and the uh, head at each of those times that was reported on we could go ahead then and make our own um, graphs inside of uh, Microsoft Excel and manipulate it and make the graphs look as we'd like them to look 
right? And I, and I could also do a simple piece into the Excel as well if we wanted to uh, show the um, the graph that appears in EPA Net. So it's fairly versatile in that way, either either copying and pasting it as a um, image or copying and pasting it as um, data that we can work with. Bring up our main window here again. Uh, we can also get to uh, tabular data. We can either use our data our, um, uh, table data icon there or go to report and graph and instead let's delete that and instead let's look at uh, the pump and let's select pump B1 let's look at the flow rate and Actually, I'm doing a graph there again. Let's do the table. So we wanted to do here. Um, I'm going to look at network nodes at a certain hour. Let's look at uh, if, say at four four thirty, and we can choose some parameters here. I'm interested in network nodes, uh, elevation, base demand, demand head, and pressure. I'm not interested in quality. You can see it brings up a nice uh, table. Again, we can select the information from that table and export it by copying to either the clipboard or a file. Let's just do the clipboard for now as data and take it again into our uh, Excel sheet. And let's paste that. And again, we could manipulate this data as we like in Excel or format it for presentation in a report. So we have a few ways of uh, using the graphs, uh, comparing graphs side by side in EPA Net, or um, copying and clipping information and data, graphs, etc., from EPA Net and pasting into other types of documents, including Excel, where it can be manipulated. I'm going to end this segment here.